this is what the generator looks like. So the first thing we're going to do is if the power goes out, then we are going to shut off the breakers for the city power, and then we're going to slide this over, and then that will allow us to turn on the generator breakers. But we're not going to turn on the generator breakers until like a last step. Um, another thing to note is I think that this is our air conditioning so I would leave this off until everything with the generator comes up and then we would turn this on afterwards. Alright, we're at the back of the garage and this is where our inlet box is. This is what connects to that breaker. Um, you pull this down with your finger and then we're gonna put the cable up in there and we have, it's like a twist lock. So what I do is I line up the metal that's right here with the metal part that I can see. Oh, let's see if we can, I don't know if this is filming it, but hopefully, ew, what is that? All right. And I twist this. Okay, so now it's going up and I push it up and then you twist and lock it. And then, you know, if you wanted to, you could tighten this right here. A uh, cable would come over here and you would stick this into the front for the 50 amp connection. So we have a ground, earth ground, down here and this is screwed into it. The cable can run all the way to where it's gonna, the generator is going to be and I'll show you where to put it on the front of the generator. This is the earth ground on the front of the generator so you just wrap the wire around it and screw this nut back on. First thing you're going to want to do is check the oil level. So take this out and see if you need to add any oil and the oil that I got is this SAE 10W30 and it took a whole one of these plus some of a second one. Next thing you're going to want to do is to fill the gas tank. So this is a 8 gallon gas tank. Twist this and then pull up. Just to show what the manual shows, uh, it's got instructions, but first thing we do is after we get the check the oil and the gas is turn off the breaker. We're going to swap the switch to gas, then we're going to turn the battery switch on, turn idle control off, and then start the generator, and then turn the breaker on. So for, just so you can see the front of the unit here again, we have all these off for now, so once we are ready to start the generator, we're going to press and hold the start button. Well, I'm sorry, first you have to turn on the battery. So the battery is what uh, allows you to start this with the button instead of crank it. So we'll have the battery on, we'll press and hold this to start up the engine, and then after the engine is on, then we can turn the circuit breaker on, and as a final step, we would come over here to our panel and this is this would be off uh, and then we would flop this on and then once you do that it would bring the power in through the inlet box to the generator and power everything in the panel again i would keep the air conditioner off and wait until everything comes up and runs and then turn the air conditioner on so everything doesn't hit all at once two things i forgot to mention turn the fuel switch over to gasoline and you also have to make sure that the gas uh, valve is turned um, so this fuel valve right here so make sure that that is vertical so after the breaker in the garage is set it's plugged in uh, you've turned this breaker on too, of course, and everything is running. 
then wait until all of your appliances like the air conditioner and whatnot have come on and then what you can do is turn the idle control on after everything is going for a while and that'll save some of the uh, gasoline.